Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hoping everyone is well and safe. The reason I started this channel was to help anyone out there who may be struggling or new in the kitchen. I remember in the early days of my marriage with my husband's love for food and especially curry, I had a long journey ahead. And with a lot of burning and learning and experimenting, I think I've come a long way. I may not be the best cook, but yes, I can feed my family a decent meal now. So here I share even the basics that I have learned. So today I'm sharing my take on peas and minced beef. So for this recipe, I'm using beef mince. You can use lamb if you want, or even chicken. Then I've got a cup full of frozen peas. In the veg section, I have taken red onions. You can use white. I just think red onions are more flavorsome. A whole bulb of garlic needs to be peeled. Four to five green chilies, four to five tomatoes. And in the spices, I'm using the standard. So I have got salt, red chili, cumin powder, coriander powder and turmeric powder the quantities are given in the description box below then here i have got some garam masala for garnishing towards the end and some fresh coriander okay so let's begin a very basic and quick recipe of minced beef and peas after peeling the garlic i'm going to quickly chop it up then in some oil on a medium flame i'm going to saute that garlic then add my mince and once it starts to change color, cover it and let that cook on low heat for about 12 to 15 minutes. Whilst that's cooking in another pan on a medium flame in some oil, I'm going to fry my onions and in a bowl, I'm going to hand blend my tomatoes and my green chilies and I'll then add the fried onions to the mixture. Quickly whisk that together and set it aside. Now I'm going to uncover the mince and on a medium flame evaporate any excess water then I'll add the onions and tomato mixture give that a quick mix before I add in all the spices once all the spices are in I'm going to give that a quick mix again once I start seeing some oil come towards the top you can see oil is separating now I'll add my peas I'm going to cook that for about two to four minutes before I'll add some water it depends how much of a gravy you want to keep give that a quick mix and then i'm going to cover it and let that cook for another 15 minutes checking back on the meat should be nearly done now i'll add the garam masala according to taste towards the end and then garnish it with some fresh coriander give that a good mix and now we are ready to have dinner the peas can be replaced by any other wedge of your choice. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share with family and friends. Do let me know if you'd like me to try or share any other recipes. I'll be more than willing to do. And as always, happy eating!